cat in my house. How many people here are about dogs? How many like dogs? Yeah, yeah, that's a little light, I'm gonna say, but still, I'm with those people. How many people here like cats? Oh, this is gonna get fucking weird. Yeah, oh, let's have some fun. Okay. How many cat people hate dogs? Crickets. Crickets. How many dog people would never have a cat in their goddamn house? Yes, yeah, see, that's how it works. Isn't it weird? You can like cats and dogs. But if you like dogs, you can more than likely can't stand cats because they're nuts. Who still who buys a cat now? Do you know how much a dog could cost three, four thousand bucks? A little puppy purebred, four grand. Do you know how much a cat cost? No one does. Because they're free. <laughs> they cost nothing. You know, you know how you get a cat? You get stuck with a cat. Some of you know moves, stuffs that cat in your house, and then goes away. You have a cat. Hey, I think you forgot your cat. No, I think your kid liked it, and I'm in Jersey already. It's your cat. What the fuck? This is, I didn't want a cat. That's how you get a cat. No one wants one. People who have a cat, they're like, oh, I love my cat. Oh, but be careful by the door on the way out. Yeah, because he's going to try to escape. I don't think he loves you. Cats are always trying to run out the door. They hide behind boots and stuff. You know what I mean? They're just waiting, like stalking the door to get away. You know, a life, a living, breathing thing doesn't want to live with you. Maybe let it out. I think cats don't want to live with their owners. Why? Because of what cat lovers feed their cats. Everything's flavored with tuna. Everything, everything's flavored with tuna. Do you know what tuna is an 800 pound fish? Yeah, just because it's in a little can, it's not a little fish. It's an 800 pound fish. Cats have never caught tuna. <laughs> never has a cat ever caught a tuna. You know, like they catch some shit and leave it on your step to show you they love you? No one's ever opened the door and been like, oh, honey, Tabby left us another 800 pound tuna. Oh, what a, what a loyal cat. That's great. No, never. Cats don't even know that anything tastes like tuna. That's us. If you don't give it tuna, you give it milk. How many cats have you seen suckled up to a cow? <laughs> Ever. Every once you've been driving by a field like New Hampshire and there's cows and just cats all the time. No, they're no, 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 no cats. They don't know what milk is. It's only because we gave them the goddamn milk. And why do you give them the milk and the tuna? Because you don't have the fucking balls to give them what he really wants. What do cats like to eat? Oh, roll up to Petco and order 12 live mice. Yeah, yeah, do that. Tell the guy in the register, I'd like 12 live mice. And I'm like, that's kind of a weird order. Uh, what's your love for mice? I don't love mice. Uh, I want them and two parakeets because it's my cat's birthday. Yeah, that's why I'm grabbing a fucking buffet at my house. She'll be on YouTube if you want to get weird. No, Peta would beat you in the parking lot. You wouldn't even get to your car. It's not allowed. You can't do shit like that. Let it out. Let the cat out. Let it have some fun, man. Shit, cats. I don't. I don't like animals that go to the bathroom in my house. Don't flush. <laughs> Think about that. Think about that. A cat. Oh, they go in the litter box. Oh, that's nice and clean and sanitary. As they scratch all around, and then they hop up on the kitchen table like, oh, hey, what's for dinner? <laughs> oh, I don't know. It looks like E. Coli, mummy. <laughs> kids' plates. This is kind of weird. You're a strange kid. Go you wash your paws, mom. Jesus. They're always in weird spots looking down at you like they stalk you in your own house. You know, like, I don't need that. They do it because they don't love you back. Here's, I'm, I'm going to close the door on any further love for cats. If someone tells you they got a cat, you don't need to know anything, right? <laughs> you know I, mean? I don't even mean about their personality, which we can infer quite a bit. But someone got a cat. Oh, I got a cat. Sweet. I know. I know the rest of the story. It's this big. It's cat size. Because <laughs> cats come in one size, cat size. They can come in boxes that say cat. One size fits all. Done. Done. Who gives a shit with Persian sign? I don't care. It's a fucking cat. I mean, it's that, it's that big. So it gets a dog. 
Well, tell me more, sir. You barely broke the ice. What the kind of, you know, like we could be talking to teacup chihuahua fits in your front pocket. It could be a, a you know, a great dame that's a small horse. Fill me in, don't leave me hanging. Where are we at? What do you got? Do you know why dogs come in different sizes and cats don't? Trust. Trust. You see, here's the thing. I could get, I could go play with the Great Dane for 10 minutes. And the dog's cool, right? It licks me, I'm happy, all is good. It can be in my house while I sleep, safe. No problem. Yeah, yeah. But if I gave you a cat the size of a Great Dane, oh, oh, suddenly that's a tiger. Yeah. And I think we know the tiger would have you for dinner. Two to nothing, I'm eating you. And you go from Facebook posts about, oh, we got a new kitty, to headlines in the newspaper, Family of Five, eaten by Tiger, that some asshole gave when they moved. Point for the dog. 